Good morning, so on today's farm vlog, we're going to do a little uh, how-to video um, in our cloth diaper series. I'm going to show you how on earth you turn this big sheet of uh, flat diaper fabric into a diaper, and also a little bit more information on how to use a pre-fold diaper. So uh, stay tuned, and here we go. Today I'm going to show you two different ways to fold a flat diaper. The first one is called the origami fold, which I use on infants up to about a year old. And then the second one is called a kite fold, which I use on toddlers to potty training. They will both use the same size uh, flat diaper, so you don't need to go buy a larger diaper for a larger baby. We just fold it differently to give you uh, more use of the fabric. So for the origami fold, the first thing you want to do is fold the diaper in half. And then you're going to fold it in half again. And then you want to pull this top corner across. It makes a little triangle. And then you're going to flip it over. And you're going to fold the back rectangle up and it makes the nice absorbent part for your baby. And then to put it on the baby, put the baby on there like this. And you bring the leg, or bring the flap around the legs. And then you would fasten it, and you would put your waterproof cover on top. For the uh, kite fold, which works great on uh, toddlers, up till potty training, you want to take the corner, and you're going to bring it towards the middle. Then you take your other corner, and you bring it back towards the middle. It's going to make a kite shape. And then you roll the back down so that it's all level like that. And then to put it on your big kid. You go ahead and lay this part on their back. And then you pull this up between the legs. And then wrap around the legs like we did with the other one. And do fasten it with a snip. Now I know what you're thinking. Gee, that kite fold doesn't look like it has very much absorbency, and you're right, it doesn't. So what I do so that uh, you get a little extra absorbency is I stick a pre-fold diaper, or you could use another folded up flat diaper, or I've used the inserts before from my pocket diapers. I'll stick it inside here. I have to kind of start over to get it in there. Not pretty, but you get the idea. I'll stick it inside so that when you put it on the baby, you have that extra layer of absorbency in the inside um, to kind of help soak it up, especially if you have a heavy wetter. So that's a little cheat you can do to get a little bit more absorbency for an older baby. You definitely do not need any more absorbency uh, for the origami folds because it's going on an infant. Uh, now the pre-fold diaper, even though it's just a little bit more expensive, you do, for that extra money, get something a lot more simpler. You don't need to do any folding, it is pre-folded. So to put this on your baby, what you're going to do is lay it the long way like this, and you're going to stick your baby's uh, bum right up here on the top, and then we're just going to lift the flap and fold it over the baby. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So we're going to stick the baby's bum right up here at the top, you're just going to pull on the flaps here so you can get it through the legs. And then just like on the flat diaper, you bring around the edges around the leg and then you're going to fasten it with your fastener. And then you would put a waterproof cover over the top. So you just saw the pre-fold is a lot easier. One of the downsides though, uh, since you don't fold it to fit your baby, is that you probably will need to buy two sizes. So you need to have a small size for a newborn and a smaller infant, and then as your baby got older you would need to invest in a larger set uh, to fit that baby. They aren't super expensive, so that might not be a big deal to you, but if you're looking just to buy one thing of diapers and just be done, the flat diapers is the way to go. And one more thing I wanted to mention, uh, one of the concerns that some moms have with the pre-fold and the flat diapers is that they don't have any waterproof protection kind of layer to keep the moisture off the baby's skin. They get a little worried about diaper rash. Or if you have a child uh, who's kind of a light sleeper, if they wet during nap time, that it'll wake them up. So a cheat that you can use for that, if you want to invest a little extra money, are these uh, reusable fleece liners. Uh, you would put them just 
between the baby's skin and the diaper. And uh, what they do is they wick the moisture right through. So this part will stay kind of dry to the touch and your diaper will get really wet. Um, they have uh, really thin ones like this, which is just the fleece. Or you can get ones that are fleece on one side and an absorbent pad on the back. So it adds extra absorbency. Um, they're all different types. I think these are from Green Mountain Diapers, um, but I got them secondhand from a friend, so I'm not 100% sure of that. If you're good with a sewing machine, you can even make them yourself. But that's a little bit of a, a cheat that you can do if you're worried about uh, having a moisture barrier on the diaper. As always, if you have any questions or comments or things that you would like to see, please uh, just leave a comment there in the comment box and I will do my best to answer them. Um, and happy diapering!